Welcome to the Mortgage Mum podcast with me, Sarah Tucker, founder of The Mortgage Mum, where we believe mortgages are about more than just money. Join us every week where we will share with you bite-sized tips, interviews with inspiring people inside and outside of our industry, and tools to help you achieve balance in every area of your life. Hello and welcome to the Mortgage Mum podcast with me, your host, Shelley Walker, Senior Mortgage Broker at the Mortgage Mum. And now, without ruining our, our long-awaited news today, um, the Director of Specialist Finance at the Mortgage Mum Specialist Finance. So today I'm your podcast host because our lovely Sarah Tucker has extended her maternity leave and quite rightly so. So I'm really pleased today to be bringing you this podcast with the fantastic news that we're launching our new business, the Mortgage Run Specialist Finance, um, from now. So please get in touch if you have any specialist finance requirements. We'll give you a little bit more information about who, who the new company's for and the types of support that we can offer to you and the types of finance options um, that you, I'll be speaking alongside Dan Hobbs from New Leaf Distribution, and he will he will introduce himself shortly and tell you everything you need to know about his role in that network. So happy listening, and um, I hope to hear from you soon. Hello and welcome to the Mortgage Mum podcast where we have got some very exciting news today. So I'm really pleased to welcome my my host, my co-host of the day, Dan Hobbs from New Leaf. Uh, Dan, do you want to say a little bit about yourself and your background before we say the big news or should yeah. we go first? <laughs> no, go, I'll, say, I'll say hi first then. Hi, well, hi Shirley, thanks for having me on the podcast today. It's a real honour to be here. Um, like you said, I'm Daniel Hobbs. Uh, I'm the MD of the New Leaf Distribution Network for mortgage brokers and financial advisors. Sounds very fancy, doesn't it? When you say it like that, <laughs> it does sound fancy. Um, yeah, it's it's good. It's good fun. We have a good we have a good time. Yeah, and and the reason you're here today, as I say, is because we have got some very exciting news. It's something that we've been gearing up for a little while now behind the scenes, but we're really excited to launch our new company, which is called the Mortgage Mum Specialist Finance. And the reason you're here is because it is sitting under New Leaf Distribution Network. So yes. um, there's a lot of words there. And I'm really conscious that for <laughs> some of our listeners might not actually make sense um, what any yeah. of that means. So do you want yeah. to say a little bit about um, a network and the framework that we have to work under? Of course. Yeah, of course. No. So first of all, fantastic to have uh, the new mortgage mum company, Specialist Finance, uh, coming over to us and being with us. Really, really good. Really happy about that. And like you said, we've been working uh, behind the scenes for quite a while to plan this and to get it all through and and then work together on starting it. So, yeah, it's been a real sort of labour of love, hasn't it, to get this going. Yes. I, I know we've been very, I know you've been very patient with us as well. And, um, oh, likewise, likewise. <laughs> and it's, it's been, it's, uh, it's going to be worth, we know it'll be worth it in the long run. So we're looking forward to now getting started. Um, so New Leaf, uh, for short, and we'll, we'll go with New Leaf rather than say the whole name every time, <laughs> be a bit easier. Um, so New Leaf, as you say, is a network. Um, and what networks do for your listeners is they they essentially do two things when it comes down to the basics of it. You provide compliance uh, support and a framework for uh, everyday advisors who do mortgages, investments, commercial finances, as we're doing together, uh, insurances, whatever. Um, and they provide a compliance framework for those advisors to give give advice to, to, to the retail customers and the commercial customers that they can deal with every day uh, out and about. Um, so it takes away a little bit of a headache potentially from firms like, you know, like yourself, where you haven't got to worry about the compliance rules, you know, because we're looking after that for you. They haven't got to worry about the systems you're using because it's all, it's all provided for you as well. Uh, it just means you can do what you do best, which is getting out there and speaking to customers, giving great advice and really helping more people as well. And the other thing that a network does uh, is provide uh, insurance as well for the advisors. So it's there 
uh, uh, which is a good thing because it means if an advisor makes a mistake, then the customer has got recourse, not only through the independent uh, options available to them, which um, you know some customers will have access to, uh, but also through the network itself, there's recourse there for compensation should the advisor make a mistake and that would be that would be agreed. Um, so there's definitely benefits there for not just advisors, but also for actual customers as well uh, when using an advisor. Great protection all round, really, doesn't it? To to uh, the consumers, the customers that we, do, we deal with Absolutely and to us right. as Absolutely advisors. Right. So very, very necessary and uh, a very good place for us to be launching the new business. So yes. thank you for that, that great overview. Um, so I think it's important to say we've said the title, the Mortgage Mum Specialist Finance. It is the new company. It is regulated under um, uh, under, under Newly for, through the framework that you're providing. So it is separate to our sister company, the main uh, Mortgage Mum company, which is regulated under Mortgage Intelligence Network. So yeah, lots that's of it. Things going it's good. on behind the scenes. Um, it's good. But... We, we can all work together. This is a great thing about this industry. There's no exactly. Uh, you know, the competition is 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 healthy and it's it's all about using people that work best for your business as well so i think this this is is good for 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 both of us yeah definitely and i think the strength of of the new leaf network is the sheer diversity of um products that we're now able to offer yeah so um i think uh, you've got this great um commercial background haven't you that's been yeah. going on for many many years i was on uh, a call with mark uh, yesterday and he's yeah. saying now 40 years in business uh, you know uh, lots of other advisors that we can call on for uh, shared expertise yes it gives us a great um informal network you know of, yeah. of support as well as that formal structure that you've got there yeah um and you've got fantastic lender relationships with is it is it 200 lenders behind the scenes something something it seems to grow every week <laughs> it's like yeah, always, there's yeah. always another one that every on. time i look at the list there's a new lender that i don't know the name of and I, think, I, I don't wow, know the name either names either <laughs> get on to them now and work out what it is that they do so but no, it's, it's, great. it's great for me as a broker you yeah. know as you know i've been in the mortgage mum since the beginning you yeah, know over amazing. Over four yeah. years now um to move into a new area and um have the excitement again you know the yeah, thrill of the definitely. chase which i i really like in yeah. in in learning uh more about new and different products and really bringing those those to our clients really yeah no absolutely um, right it is exciting for you yeah yeah, absolutely. So I'll I'll talk a little bit about um the sorts of uh business now that we're able to do under Newly, so okay. and under the Mortgage Mum Specialist Finance. So uh, firstly, thinking about our target market. So um as you know, under the Mortgage Mum, we can do um, regulated and unregulated mortgages yes. and protection, um as well as later life lending. So that's that's our core business there under the Mortgage Mum. But under New Leaf, it's going to be um and the Mortgage Mum Specialist Finance finance is going to be really bringing that commercial finance aspect in yeah. and so here we're looking at a different target audience so we're looking at helping and supporting aspirational investors um property professionals entrepreneurs and business owners amazing so it just it, it widens our scope really and we're really passionate about doing that because uh, our core values at the mortgage mum are to uh, one of them is is to lift as you climb so it yeah. really feels like we have climbed in yeah. in mortgage mum um you know we started from our kitchens with with videos that we were all <laughs> doing and now there's over 35 of us in the team um Incredible. you know on, on national uh, t tv and in the press regularly and we're sort of looking at the market thinking well, well you know how can we help more people so um to bring these commercial products now um to to a different range of people is something we we're, we're really passionate about to to help other people build their businesses and i think for us when we look you know we're all family people you know yeah. most of us are mums um we can see that businesses are the ones that help to build communities and communities are what's really important to us at our heart and you know bringing a, a nice safe space for our children and yeah. you know it, it just makes the world a better place doesn't it i mean it's great to be able to offer these new products as well properly and not have to refer it out to our brokers or to use you know sort of uh, third party firms that package cases uh, on your behalf i think the the real key thing for the mortgage mum is that one of control as well you wanted to keep control Absolutely. of your clients you didn't want to you know uh, muddy the waters i guess where 
because it's half a clients from the stand like they're speaking to you Shelley and then you know they go to you because you are the broker you're the mortgage person that they know and see online or they know you from other products you sold to them or advised to even um, and then you know they go right actually I'd like to get into property development I'd like to get, do a bit you know maybe do a bridging uh, loan from a, to buy an auction and then you go okay yeah that's fine I can help you there but then you end up then passing to someone else and it just seems like yeah. what, what's happening here because if I was the client and I put it in my shoes I'd be like I don't know what's happening why can't you do it definitely and, and that, it must, that's it must be exactly frustrating what we found you. yeah because yeah. I think you, you know as an advisor I would think oh you know I know what to do I think I can do this like I just need a bit of help but you know I do relatively think I've got a good grasp on where I would go um yeah. but you just couldn't do it you can't do it because there's restrictions that are in place on, on most advisors out there and I, I think that's that can be very frustrating for brokers as well yeah, it has been a little bit and you can't measure the quality or the timeliness or, you know, the responsiveness of, of a third party. So that's been the tricky bit for us. You know, we we really pride ourselves on our five star responsive service. Yeah. And sometimes when you you do have to pass people on, as you described, um, we haven't quite got that same feel. And that's yeah. what people have said. You know, we came to you at the Mortgage Mum because you're nurturing, you're, you're educating us, you're supporting us through the process. And then we've been passed on and sort of let down a bit yeah. so and I'm not saying that badly about about other brokerages you know different people have different experiences but obviously mm. the style of our our um our uh, advice here is very supportive at the yeah. mortgage mum and that's why people come to us and exactly. in commercial world it can be a bit you know rate driven harder faster which is you know understandable <laughs> to some extent but if you've experienced softly softly nurturing support and then you don't uh yeah. it, it's quite um it feels like a drop down you know so yeah. uh, that that's sort of the feedback that we had and and what's happened more and more lately especially um is people are, are coming to us with development deals with bridging inquiries yeah. with secured loan um you know inquiries and as i say you know that the, these cases run on our desk all the time so we want to be able to do do them now so we're really excited yeah. to be able to do that with you because you'll so, have obviously you. no it's great no well, thank you you for being with us on that um partnering with us on that but yeah the the yeah the, i guess you must see it from the the other uh, advisors in the group you know like you said that they're going to be able to have an outlet now they have someone they can go to who they can trust mm. it's within the same brand it's part of the group and you know that's gonna be great for you as well that you're going to have not only your clients but also you'll be the focal point for the other advisors as well which is which is a really good opportunity for you exactly so anyone coming to the mortgage mum with any of these inquiries now can be rooted straight across to us with their permission yeah. and under the mortgage mum specialist finance we can help them with everything so yeah. really really exciting really good. and i say yeah. this i'm excited and slightly scared at the same time sometimes <laughs> <laughs> well it's, 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 it's a new venture isn't it and ultimately it's a bit scary and and but hopefully that excitement that that bit of nerves that's part of what drives it and it'll get you Definitely. you know you're really you know yeah. you'll really be good at it you know I'm sure I mean I, I know and I think I think the thing is once you've got that feeling almost you overcompensate and do, do too much so <laughs> yeah. I'm doing I know um for example we, we need to get at least three quotes for a bridging loan yesterday I've gone out to 10 lenders you know like, I will I will get the best quote on the market you know so it makes you well, try much harder sometimes. you know that, that's what you do you, you want to do best for your client and, and that, that's that's amazing that you have that same ethos you know and you, you you can translate that across to this side but i think that's that and that actually going put, thinking about that the quoting of things this is part of the reason why a lot of advisors uh you know feel restricted by this market because there isn't a system there isn't really a comparison tool uh to help us yeah. like on regulated where it's a lot easier to just pick up a license and start researching and you can get quotes really quickly from a hundred odd lenders with this it is very much a bit old-fashioned there, there isn't really any help Te tech wise it's very old school um yeah. it is about getting on the phone it is about talking to the bdms uh, talking to the bank managers and uh and really you know sharpening the pencil and getting the deal written down for you um and that's and that's why i think a lot of advisors sometimes feel oh this is a bit too difficult for me i'm not sure about this and then maybe even some yeah. of the networks who no, because they haven't got the control because there's no tech to help them manage their advisors they think you know what we'll stay out of it because we don't we can't actually see what everyone's doing we can't really control yeah. it whereas i think with us because we've been doing it for a long time we've got a great route you know route through to getting these quotes to talking to lenders great relationships great support in the background as well to help you um exactly. you can be new to it and and really pick up that pen and and go out and do it um and and really get get to grips with some of these amazing new products that you can you can offer
Yeah. So should we talk a bit about products? That, that's yeah. a nice segue towards that. Yeah. Sounds so, good. Um, I'll give just a brief overview today because obviously we could talk about each one of them for, for quite a while. So yeah. I think what we'll do is a deep dive into those products um, on later podcasts. Yes. Yeah. Um, but uh, if we just give some headlines. So secured loans um, is um, yeah. can be delivered under, under the new con, uh, under the new business. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, this is where we're putting effectively a second charge against a property. So it can be a residential property can be a business commercial premises buy to let um so it's a, a second mortgage and i think that's a good, good point to raise right there actually on this is that you said residential property as well so actually what we're doing you know we say commercial we talk commercial today that actually mm-hmm. some of this stuff is residential as well which you can now yeah, do with us which right. i know technically speaking is the mortgage mum or it does residential mm-hmm. difference is obviously shelly is this is specialist residential it's not the same and um, and you know other networks still restrict on that sort of deal. So so a secured loan sometimes you know you you can find that um, that networks don't allow advisors to access directly. They'll make you refer it. Obviously, with us, you'll be able to do that now yourself, which is great. Yeah. Yeah, and I've I've just done one actually. So <laughs> high five, virtual high five. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> excellent. Okay. Um, so bridging, um, yeah. so bridging loans uh, yeah, again, big. really core bit of the business. Yeah. So people might uh, might well know about bridging or short term property finance. It can also be called. Often used for auction purchases. Yes. Can be used for um, chain breaks. So yes. if you're buying a property and then uh, your seller collapses, yeah. um, can also be used if you're buying a property that um, needs significant refurbishment, so it's not actually mortgage- mortgageable or habitable, yeah. or for conversion products, uh, projects even, Loads like stuff, um, <laughs> changing a house to an HMO or multi-unit block uh, yeah. or, or splitting the title on a multi-unit block. So lots of different purposes, really, for bridging. Um, yeah. uh, and one. again, you know, can be can be commercial um, and can be uh, residential and can be buy to let. So lots of options there for bridging as well. Yeah, loads of opportunities there for sure. That's going to be a big one, I think, for 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 you especially um, to be able to yeah. access those products. They're 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 the ones that people really want to get access to often. So yeah, that's cool. absolutely. And and actually, that's the bulk of our inquiries so far. Yeah. So we've got you know quite a lot, a decent amount of bridging inquiries over the last uh, two months, mm. even without us having launched the Mortgage Mum Specialist Finance. So really the universe telling us you know that we're doing the right thing and nudging yeah. us in the right direction there so um, we'll give a good insight to that because there's lots of variations to bridging in terms of refurb products you know 100 bridging if you're buying below market value you can yeah. cross capitalize on different properties so loads loads to say about bridging really um okay commercial finance so mm. we tend to say commercial don't we, we say it a really? lot to cover uh, everything don't it, we yeah, it's so... a banner yeah. <laughs> no but <laughs> we can actually help people to buy commercial premises that's it um, yeah. and that's whether uh, it's for them to use as their own business so perhaps you're opening a shop um mm. perhaps it's a shop with a flat above uh or perhaps you're actually doing your experienced landlord and you're buying commercial premises as a buy to let investment yeah yeah awesome. that's true that's yeah could have, yeah someone might lease uh, their office and then want to buy it you know so it's absolutely like anything to do with commercial property uh and and arranging a, a loan on that for sure yeah yeah and and the way commercial um loans are assessed is different isn't it so uh by whether it's buy to let or or owner occupied is different to each other yeah. um it's if you're occupying it yourself you're going to be looking at the accounts rather than the rental because obviously you are occupying it yeah. but again something we can work through individually for each business proposition and and access a great range of lenders there um development finance mm, so now we're talking about large scale developments aren't yeah. we so yeah. we even if it's you know a few houses on a on a site or multi-million pound site you know we're up for it we're in the game <laughs> exactly no really really true yeah it could you know some of a client of yours has you know bought a bit of land recently and wants to yeah. wants to build houses or build whatever um then you know i'm sure uh, you know you'll be able to help them now and this sort of this sort of product is is fantastic for that because it helps them build what they want to build over a period of time and access funds as and when they need it absolutely i have a vision for development finance actually and it's yeah. it's in our uh, business plan uh, there's a photo 
which I claim to be me, but she's definitely at least <laughs> 10 years younger than me <laughs> and about you know, two dress sizes. But there we go. Um, on a hard hat, in a hard yeah, hat, yeah. on a building site with a crane behind me, you know, and I yeah. just, I've got plans in my hand yeah. and I'm visiting and, and I'm doing the finance, you know, so I've Brilliant. got this sort of vision. It's something I'm quite passionate about. You know about. what, it's, that's, that's such a cool thing to say because that is a really good, that's a really good way to look at it. And I think when you get into specialist finance and commercial, is you know really to, to really go full throttle on this is actually be, become more than just the via the finance the finance person actually yeah. be that property finder you know be that um be that sort of uh, you know person that goes out there has your client book that you've built up over the years that you can say right i found you an opportunity to invest in mm. uh you know go go and go get a hard hat on talk talk to surveyors and then you present the, the plan to your investors um, and then obviously ultimately finance it. They want to go ahead. And we've got some people who do that within the network now. And it's it's fantastic, uh, you know, to see how they do that and how they um, become really, the, the, they preempt it. You know, they, they're proactive yeah. with the arrangements rather than That's waiting. That's my dream, yeah. It's, it's quite, cool. It feels quite out there, but I've just, I can see it in my mind as clear yeah. as day. And, and for me, I am passionate about property. I am a property investor myself. Yeah. Um, but these, these big deals... I really sort of see see a role there, and it's um, some of my client bank already are in this space, you know, and are nice. often yeah. saying to me, "Do you have anybody that would invest in this?" You know, yeah. um, so I'd I'd love to go out and and sort of see that and work with that end to end, really, and ultimately, I'd love to invest in it myself. But um, you know, I'm saving up the pennies for that one at the minute. <laughs> yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> um. Complex buy to let. So here we're talking about professional landlords, aren't we? With with perhaps um, some meaty portfolios, yeah, uh, a range yeah. of property, um, it, different types of property. Um, so they may have some standard buy to let. They may have commercial, semi commercial, multi unit blocks. Um, yeah, and, and we're sort of looking at different finance options across the whole portfolio, whether it be a portfolio loan yeah. or whether it be individual mortgages for individual projects. But sort of understanding, getting under the skin of of that portfolio and offering the best option to, to that person yeah and it's a, it's a big one because you know these there's, there's lots of landlords out there that have lots of properties under on a with buy to lets obviously as well and um you know it's it's really tough if you don't have someone to help you a proper a really good broker mm -hmm. uh you know you you end up losing so much money and as things go to variable rates and all this stuff and yeah. you know you think is you know if we got clients you see clients got like 30 35 plots in their portfolio and it's like that's a lot of applications to do. Yes. <laughs> so, so There's a lot of You definitely need there, a finance broker to help you. You need someone this to help This is you. the one that makes me nervous, Dad, because I think, yeah. oh, I'm like, do I really want to do 35 Yeah, it's like, oh, this 15 million pound <laughs> comes to you, but you land your lap and like, oh, that sounds great. Oh, it's like 40 apps. Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, no, but of course I do. And I, and it is, it is looking at that whole picture, isn't it? Because definitely. I think sometimes people get in that rut of looking at in individual mortgages. And when I look at it, I take a step back. It just doesn't make sense. I'm like, well, you've got this one loaded you know to 80 yeah. percent loan to value and this one's unencumbered with no mortgage at all yeah. you know why aren't we just spreading spreading, spreading that across yeah. a couple of properties and bringing your rates right down you know yeah. oh i've just literally never thought about that they so. and I, I guarantee you that you know there'll be there'll be people who, who arrange mortgages for clients previously and probably not really engage them very well customer service maybe isn't the best for for, for, the, for some of these advisors and then um, obviously a client just gets left on a deal that doesn't really work for them, but they don't know, they don't realise, yeah. they don't because they're paying yeah. for it, they can afford it still. The client doesn't yeah. realise that they could have it structured far better. Um, you know, I think that's 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 something that you guys obviously, you know, you, you don't have that issue because the customer service element for you guys is so important um, and part of your core values as well, uh, which is which is you know means you really will look out for your customer even when we're looking at this, you know, especially high net worth customers who yeah mm. they can afford it. They probably don't care, yeah. but yeah. until they're told, and you say it's like, easier you know to what? ignore it sometimes, isn't yeah, it? And it is. I, I had this actually recently. I was dealing with someone's residential mortgage, and I said, I can see your buy to lets, and I can see the loan size, yeah, and I can see your monthly payment, and it doesn't make sense to me at all. I can literally half those payments, yeah. <laughs> they're like, wow, you know, yeah, yeah. you weren't even 
they weren't even in the room to talk about that you know and i said but like, this is important you, you could be making profit here and you're actually in in a loss situation it's no crazy abs to absolutely right absolutely right no it's really good it's really good yeah thank you um right business finance so mm. this is a nice uh angle actually isn't mm. it so beyond property because we often talk about property finance. yeah it's different ones um, isn't it yeah yeah so here we're talking about so asset finance invoicing cash flow finance um, and 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 Mark uh, at the network, he's got a great story of somebody that came forward that were setting up. Um, is it a pilot school or something yeah, like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yes, right. Yeah, you needed yeah. the finance to buy the planes. Or, yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, you know, so it can, it's really diverse um, yeah. here and gives businesses an opportunity. It could be anything, like that. you know, you got a printing company that wants to buy a new uh, printing. <laughs> bit of <Yes>. machinery <laughs> yes. and that, that, that could be no, I don't know, a massive investment 100 grand or something to, to buy it to replace their old one so yeah so asset finance will help help for businesses with 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 buying especially these yeah. sort of big big items but yeah the pilot one was a particularly <laughs> <laughs> expensive yeah. venture <laughs> yeah. that's for sure that's the goal again you know let's own fire. <laughs> but even last month i was helping a client and they wanted to diversify so they've got their own limited company now yeah. but they're wanting to move on now from from their their world of it contracting and actually their dream is to own uh, to set up a national chain of uh sports bars you know so yeah, cool. uh, we've been actually Fair been able to help raise them some funds yeah. from their existing business Brilliant. to act as a deposit for their for their onward purchase that's really so good. that's been um like a really a really nice sort of yeah. tale to tell because it's someone's life plans and, and helping them to meet their goals again yeah fantastic um right protection um is something that we're very hot on as well so mm. protection as you said you do do it in the network the arrangement at the start of, of the mortgage mum specialist finance is that we are going to refer that on to one of our um uh i want to say sister companies um <laughs> so we we have um yeah. well we have specialist advisors within the mortgage mum that can deal with personal protection and then we do yeah. also have um, a, a great um colleague that, that deals with business protection as well so that's right yeah. we'll start that's like that but obviously um see see where the world takes us with that as well because protection is so essential isn't it to everybody to make sure that yeah absolutely i mean the key is to 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 make sure a client has that conversation with you and that's the main thing uh and then you know whoever writes it it's um it's 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 really about it's really about making sure a client has that opportunity so yeah fantastic you got really good people in the group that can help with that for, yeah, for sure really good and we, we really sort of want people to have that expertise that they've got you know sometimes yeah. it's hard to be a jack of all trades isn't it and, and you know yeah. let's let's really nail that with, with with some real specialist advice there um and then high net worth clients so we mentioned that a little mm. bit um we do also have another sister company where we can deal with um private bank of finance so that's yes. fantastic options for people that are high net worth but also being under the mortgage mum specialist finance we just have access to a wider range of lenders that are mm -hmm. also able to to help those people that are high net worth yeah absolutely yeah you know you've got people who You've got you know buying residential properties especially as well at very high levels it's bespoke type mortgages really isn't it that they very, can go very for bespoke, so, yeah yeah and also so when, again, when having... people are you know investors often are high net worth aren't yeah. they so then we're looking exactly. not only you know so what the return on investment might be we might be looking at what assets they've got as well and then yeah. and then how we can um sort of spread lending across the whole suite um of, of, of yeah. their finance financial arrangements yeah brilliant really good stuff so it's quite a lot there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there is quite a lot. Lots to be uh, getting that's on with. <laughs> a good um, overview, I think, so yeah. far. Yeah, we've we've got a lot to work on, haven't we? Yeah, but but a real, uh, you know, I, I I hope people can sense that both of us actually are really passionate about this space and and really sort of yeah. bringing this offer offer to the table to to help people progress in their own lives and businesses. I think it's so important. Yeah, definitely, definitely true. So I think, again, a bit of a segue there because we were going to speak about business values, but I think that that, that is it, isn't it? You know, we are just so, so passionate about helping people. I mean, you're a very forward thinking, progressive network. You know, you're very supportive um, and that's how we like to see ourselves at the Mortgage Mum and in the new company um, for specialist yeah. finance as well. Um, you're very 
solution focused you know as a way you know we like to be t- tenacious and finding out something for somebody um yeah obviously subject to to it all, all stacking up well um and it is really about quality of service for us which i know is really important. yeah absolutely huge i mean we from our end we want to give you a really good service as well so uh, yeah we want to make sure you have that foundation where you can be really confident then to go out to your clients and really give them a great service mm. uh, that's for sure but i think you know we're you know, yeah, our network's been going for over 20 years now, but I still feel that we're quite nimble. We're quite, you know, like say, like, I feel like we're just getting started. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just like, oh, you know, in that mindset of be, really going back to day one mentality. Yeah. So you walk in, like, walk in the door and you're like, right, we're starting at day one again. We you know when you're really up for it, you start a new venture. Mm-hmm. That's how I feel every day coming to New Leaf. And I feel yeah. like with the mortgage mum, you guys, especially true as well, that your every day is like a new, it's like going back to day one, right? That's really go go for it with our clients and be a hundred percent there's no slacking off you know yeah you're really you really you you know you're really supportive and really want to help and i think that's why we align really well together as, as a network and a, and a and a firm partnering up definitely definitely i i think that's how it is for me every client that comes to me i, I want to give that that best level of service you know and i i yeah. almost i kind of enjoy it when i don't know the answer straight away because i'm like right i've got to learn i've got to find yeah. it out and that that <laughs> is my drive you know so exactly. and, and to make Make think things work as, as best as we can um I mean I've even got a sort of impossible case on my desk at the moment it feels like but I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna get something for this we're gonna do it we're gonna problem. work it out <laughs> you know, I've been told no by several other brokers as well and I'm like no it's yeah. not the answer here I'm afraid we will keep going <laughs> but that's really what we like to like to bring to to this sector really so yeah yeah so I, I hope Brilliant. that's been a good overview for everybody um dan i i don't know we, we always spoke a lot about business today but is there anything that you could say about yourself you know to help us get to know you a little bit better i feel like you're not going to be a stranger to the mortgage mum podcast and certainly the new specialist <laughs> podcast when we set it up no definitely i mean uh i mean i've i've, I've been in i've been working for new leaf now since 2010 so uh you know my experience has really grown over the years as well and and commercial finance for me is, is relatively new um, for me personally, having only really been involved in it the last couple of years myself, uh, being being a mortgage guy, really, you know, for a regular mortgage guy. Uh, I think that's quite good because for us working together on it, you know, um, you know, and obviously there are people in our network that will help you properly. <laughs> but <laughs> but, um, but it's, it's nice because this we, we, I feel we worked quite closely getting this set up yeah. and um you know, I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, seeing you guys flourish and progress and and and, and build this. Uh, and I just just want to end with saying I'm really thankful that you you did choose to be of us because you could you know we we're not the only network available and there's other networks that are perfectly capable of helping you in doing this. Um, but you chose us, and I think you know that's a real that's a real big win for us. To be fair, we're really happy Thank to you. work with you guys. You've got a great brand, great business. I've been following it closely over the last. Uh, three or four years as, as you as, as it's grown Sarah's done amazing Jamie in the background and the rest of the, the mums as well involved and um you know it's just this is to get going I'm raring to yeah, go yeah me too Can't wait. me too so the cases are coming the, the business is being written so it's, it's such a good opportunity and uh, yeah thank you thank you for accepting us in so I think it's going to be a really great space for us and um, just to any of our listeners out there, really, if, you, if you've got specialist finance needs, then come and speak to me. So I'll put, put my details in the show notes. And if you're a broker and you'd like to work with us, you know, we, we're not exclusive to customers. You know, if, if you're looking for that special bit of mortgage mum magic uh, and you want to give that, that quality five star service to your commercial uh, and specialist clients, then come and get in touch and, and we'll set up, set up an arrangement. So um, thank you all for listening today. And thank you, Dan, for being my co-host. And I, I look thank forward to speaking me. again soon. Okay, see you later. Thank you so much for listening to the Mortgage Mum podcast. And I hope you learned something new today and felt inspired in some way. Here at The Mortgage Mum, we really believe in people supporting people. So if you've enjoyed this episode of The Mortgage Mum podcast, please share and subscribe and rate and review this podcast and let's keep supporting each other. And of course, if you would like help with your mortgage or your insurance, head over to www.themortgagemum.co.uk or contact any one of the team on social media. We would love to help you. Thank you for listening.